Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be five signs. They're obsessed with you. Yes, sir. Let me say a lot of for the people in the back. Listen, chosen ones, this video is based upon all the signs of how you know they are obsessed with you. Yes, sir. Now, I know this going to be a crazy video, y'all. So, I want y'all to understand something. This can go for anything, y'all. This can go from jobs, your friendships, specifically relationships, okay? People who you've just met. We see it all the times on these crazy psychological thriller movies when people get crazy. Yes, sir, they get real crazy, okay? But not only that, y'all, your haters can be obsessed with you, too. People who don't like you can be obsessed with you, too. And so I want you to understand something. You just got that fat there about yourself that make people become obsessed with you. Yes, sir. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned in for a dope video because we about to go crazy on this one, y'all. Now, watch this. I need y'all to leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. If any one of these signs resonate with you, yes, sir. But not only that, make sure you drop in the comments and say they're obsessed with me. All right? So we ain't going to waste no more time, chosen ones. I want to go ahead and get directly into the first sign of how you know they are obsessed with you. All right? They crave your attention. Yes, sir. Let me say a lot of for the people in the back. Yeah, I said it. They crave your attention, okay? They don't want to be nowhere else but where you are. Yes, sir. They want all, they want your eyes to be all over them, all right? They need your attention. Let me just think for a second, y'all. Did this sound familiar to y'all? Don't this sound like whenever a woman wants a man's attention, okay? And so let me make this clear. Now, I know I got a whole bunch of women that watch me, y'all, but I need, I need y'all to tune in with me so y'all can catch this example, all right? Okay, so check this out. Yeah, don't it sound like a woman trying to get a man attention, okay? Whenever she wear perfume, all right? She's trying to get his attention. Whenever she's wearing certain clothes, appealing outfits, she's trying to get his attention, right? She might as well have a big sign on her forehead or have a big poster card saying, come talk to me, approach me, okay? She is, a, she is craving that man's attention, all right? Now, understand this. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. And I'm not saying that all women are obsessed who's doing this. I'm just making an example, okay? So I'm just throwing some things out there. But listen to this, though. What I'm saying is your haters, that friendship, that relationship, that person who you just met, they are craving your attention. And that's a big sign that they are obsessed with you, right? I mean, it's thing after thing. It's problem after problem. It's excuse after excuse. These people are trying to get you to notice them, right? And the, and the funny thing is, chosen ones, you notice them. You see them. Yes, sir. You see them. But the problem is they want you to give them all your attention, all your time, all your energy, right? They just want to be specifically only for you. They crave your attention, right? No different from when you got an older child, a middle child, and a baby, right? At some point, all them kids used to get attention. But guess what? When that baby came, that baby is naturally going to get more attention. Why? Because it's a baby, all right? It's, it's because it's a baby, all right? And so sometimes that older child may get a little jealous, all right? A, a, a little envious, okay? Because they looking at that younger child like, man, that used to be me. I want attention. You know what? Let me start messing up in school. Yeah, that'll get the attention. You know what? Let me start getting in fights. Let me start smoking a little weed. I just want pops and mom to notice me again. So guess what? That's a clear indication they were craving that attention. And that's the same thing whatever you're doing. Like I said, y'all, this is more so specifically for relationships. But you can compare this to your haters. You can compare this to, you know, a job, friendship. Friendships is like this too, y'all. Y'all done seen them psychological thriller movies, them mystery movies where the person that got so psychologically, you know, intertwined into this person to where now they're so obsessed and they almost willing to kill this person just because they want their attention and they don't want nobody else to have them. All right. So understand this, y'all. They are craving your attention. Your haters, they craving your attention. That friend, they craving your attention. Yes, sir. The people who don't like you, they craving your attention. And so I want you to understand something. Don't give it to them. Don't give them the time of the day. Don't give them the time of the day. Yes, sir. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I don't got time. 
All right? Make sure you drop in the comments and say, I don't got time. Listen, chosen ones, they are obsessed with you. And the clear indication of that is that they are craving your attention, right? They want you to notice them, okay? And so with that being said, chosen ones, we're going to get into the second sign of how you know they are obsessed with you, all right? Your name stays in their mouth, okay? Let me say that one louder for the people in the back. Understand this, y'all. Your name stays in their mouth. Now, this one right here, y'all, is a big one for the haters. Oh, yeah, this is a big one for the haters. See, sometimes, y'all, a lot of times, okay, nine times out of ten, your haters are the ones who are talking about you. But what I told y'all, your haters are your street team. Your haters are your marketers. They're your promotions, right? They are always promoting you for free. Anybody who talk about you all day for free, let them, all right? All publicity is good publicity. Once again, y'all make sure y'all drop in the comments and say, all publicity is good publicity. I don't care if a person want to talk about me all day. I don't care if my head just want to slander me and lie on me and talk about me all day. Guess what? I'm doing something right. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm doing something right. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say, I'm doing something right. Right now, well, what, you, what do you mean by that, man? They are obsessed with you. Okay, and so guess what? A clear indication of that is gonna be your name stand in their mouth all day. Do, you, do this sound familiar? How they talk about LeBron James like a dog all day? They barely talk about when he's doing good, but they always talking about when he's doing bad. But guess what? Key word, they talking about him. They ain't talking about the little average Joe on the street, you know, who they can go find playing uh, basketball at the park on the street somewhere or in jail. So they ain't talking about him. It's not about how good he can play basketball. It's the fact that he's in the public eye. It's the fact that he's on the news. It's the fact that he's in the media. That's what that is. So they've become obsessed with LeBron James. They've become obsessed with some of these celebrities. They've become obsessed with certain people who are doing good in the community, but they want to drag them down. They've become obsessed, right? That person in that relationship, they've become obsessed with you. Okay, you got to understand this, y'all. This is why I say, y'all got to understand. It can be anything. They can be obsessed with you on your job. They can be obsessed with you on the relationship. They can be obsessed with you on the friendship. You just got to notice the signs, y'all. Okay, understand this. They can't keep your name out their mouth. I never understood that, y'all. I never understood how a person can talk about somebody else that they don't like all day. I never understood it until I realized that, oh, that means that they are obsessed with them, okay? Sometimes uh, an obsession is not always, I want to get them, and I want to kill them, and I want to eat them. It's not, it's not always about that. Sometimes an obsession can simply be a person talking about something that they can, they feel that they can never touch, or they feel that that thing is above them, and so they just want to talk about it a lot, just so they can feel like they're on that level, or just so they can get the attention of that person, right? Sometimes it's not always, I want to get it and kill it. Sometimes it's just, man, I'm so obsessed, I am amazed, and I don't, I don't feel like they're going to ever respond back to me. I don't feel like they're going to ever talk to me. So you know what? I'm going to make a whole bunch of noise so I can get their attention. And that's how it connects. They, they crave your attention. And so since you're not giving it to them, they're going to keep your name in their mouth. The haters do this a lot, y'all. Somebody drop in the comments and say, shout out to my haters. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say, shout out to my haters. We know what you're saying right now. Your haters got your name all in their mouth. Yes, sir. Like it's a good taste in it. They got, they got your name all in their mouth, y'all. And so I want you to understand something. That's just a clear indication that they are obsessed with you, all right? If that sound resonated with you, make sure you drop in the comments and let me know, chosen ones, all right? I don't know, man. They obsessed with me. And if you a chosen one, I know they obsessed with you, all right? And make sure you drop in the comments as well. So with that being said, y'all, the third sign of how you know they are obsessed with you is going to be this, y'all. Their happiness has become your priority. Yes, sir. Let me say it one more time louder for the people in the back. Hold on. I said it correctly. Their happiness has become your priority. But we know what you're saying right now. Their happiness has become your job. Their happiness has become a task. See, it was all good as long as, you know, you was contributing to the happiness. I'm okay with that. 
I don't mind contributing to somebody else's happiness. I don't mind adding value, okay, to somebody else's happiness. But I shouldn't be the founder of the happiness. I shouldn't be the one who makes you happy. I shouldn't be the starter to your car. I shouldn't be the ignition to your engine. That shit, come on, huh? That's not fair to them, and it's not fair to me, all right? It's not fair to them, and it's not fair to me. So, Ringo, what are you saying right now? When you are dealing with people who are obsessed with you, you are dealing with people who are making their happiness your priority. We see it a lot of time, y'all, with fans, right? A lot of time, these fans, they be so obsessed with Beyonce. Oh, my God, I love Beyonce. They be so obsessed, you know, with Chris Brown. Oh, my God, I love Chris Brown. So obsessed, right? Uh, with anybody, right, who, who's at a high level. So obsessed with them. And what happens is, the moment they see that person in real life, and they say, you know what? I'm tired today. I can't take a picture. Oh, man. I thought you was the best. I thought you was a good celebrity. But they forget that they're human beings too. Well, Rena, what are you saying right now? They have made their happiness that celebrity's priority. Just because I can't take a picture with you, now you mad at me. Just because I can't give you what you want, oh, now I'm a piece of this and a piece of that, and I'm a scumbag. How does that work? It don't work out, y'all. And so what I'm saying is they have made their happiness your priority. And that's not fair to you and it's not fair to them. Because the moment that you decide to walk out their lives, the moment that you decide to say, you know what, I'm cool. The moment you decide to say, you know what, I want to walk away from this. Guess what? They're going to go somewhere and be up under a bridge somewhere or don't know how to live without that particular person. That's why you got to be able to walk away from anything, anyone anybody. Why? Because anything that you can't walk away from, A, controls you, and B, will destroy you. Oh yeah, let me say it from, let me say it louder for the people in the back. Anything that you can't walk away from will A, control you, or B, destroy you. All right? So I want you to really understand that. And y'all make sure y'all drop in the comments and say you won't destroy me. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say you won't destroy me. Okay? And so all I'm saying is chosen ones, they are obsessed with you. And the clear indication of that is going to be they have made their happiness your priority, your job. And it's a job that you don't get paid for. All right? And so the fourth sign, y'all, of how you know they are obsessed with you is going to be this, y'all. They have become possessive. All right? Let me say it one more time, louder for the people in the back. Y'all heard me clearly? They have become possessive over you, all right? So a great example of this, y'all, it'll be like, let's just say you got this couple, they've become in a relationship, they are bonding more, spending more time together, and they forget that you have a life outside of me, right? But now when you say, you know what, hey, I wanna go spend time with my family. No, what are you doing? Right? They want to keep you confined in that house or just keep you close nearby them. So you're not, you know, going out with someone else or bonding with other people, okay? Not romantically, but just living your life outside of them. They have become possessed over you. And like I tell anybody, you don't own anything in this world. Nothing in this world is yours. I don't care if you do pay your property taxes. I don't care if you do pay Uncle Sam. Because guess what? When you die, you can't take it with you. Somebody drop in the comments and say, you can't take it with you. When you leave this earth, you can't take nothing with you. You can't take your kids. You can't take your mama, your daddy. You can't take your best friend, your wife, your girl, your husband. You can't take none of it, all right? And so all I'm simply saying is, y'all, they have become possessive. And in their mind, they think that they own you. Newsflash, you don't own nobody, okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say, you don't own me. Okay, make sure you drop in the comments and say you don't own me. So, Rena, what are you saying right now? All I'm saying is chosen ones, listen, a clear indication of somebody being obsessed with you, they have become very possessive, all right? They've become very possessive over you. Understand that, y'all. And so, the last sign, the fifth sign of how you know they are obsessed with you is going to be this, y'all. It is intense emotions, all right? Let me say it one more time, y'all. It's going to be intense emotions. So, Rena, what do you mean by that? The emotions is going to be everywhere. 
right? They're going to be up. They're going to be down. They're going to be sad. They're going to be happy. Why? Because they can't control you. Why? Because they know that you have a life outside of them. So the emotions are going to always be intense. The emotions are going to always be high, right? And not only that, but they are obsessed with you. I'm not going to say they are so in love. They are so infatuated or so in lust to where they, that obsession is so crazy. That obsession is so crazy to where they're like, oh, man. If anything happened, they emotions just go up, down, left, or right. Why? Because they are obsessed with you. It's all their emotions are all over the place, y'all. So I want you to understand something. They become emotionally unstable. Once again, y'all, this can go for your haters. All right? Somebody drop in the comments and say my haters are obsessed with me. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say my haters are obsessed with me. Brina, what do my haters got to do with this? Understand this, y'all. Your haters' emotions be everywhere, too. They be all in their feelings. Oh, yeah. Your haters be all in their feelings, all right? They be talking about you, mad at you, slandering you, lying on you, okay? Your haters be all in their feelings. And this is another indication that they are obsessed with you. How can you hate something so bad? How can you hate something so much but still be obsessed with it? Still want to talk about it? Still be in your feelings about it? Okay, if you just been in a breakup, right? You, I'm not gonna say that it's not human to talk about it or reflect on it, but if you still in your feelings about that person and it's not been two years, three years later, you probably still got some type of thing for that person, okay? And so, what I'm saying is, y'all, anything that you are over, you really shouldn't be in your feelings about it. Once again, it's okay to reflect on it, it's okay to say, you know what, I should have done this better, but you know, you know what. It's spilled milk. Man, I'm not crying over that. Let's move on. Let's move forward. Somebody drop in the comments and say, move forward. Okay? And so all I'm simply saying is, y'all, your haters can be obsessed with you. Your job can be obsessed with you. Specifically, relationships can be uh, obsessed with you. That friendship, that person you just met, you got to pay attention to the signs. They got a secret obsession with you. Okay? And so I want you to understand that, Chosen Ones. And so as I conclude this video... Understand this, y'all. You got to pay attention to all the signs when a person are secretly obsessed with you, okay? They become possessive. They crave your attention, okay? Your name stays in their mouth. Understand that, y'all. Their happiness becomes your priority, a job that you don't get paid for. And not only that, but it is a lot of intense emotions, okay? And so with that being said, y'all, y'all make sure y'all check out any one of the links in my description. Check out any one of my books. That's Eight Steps to Self-Publishing, A Successful Book, Rich Mentality, Traumatized by Love, as well as Fairly Unequal. Also, be sure to check out any one of my memberships. That's my YouTube membership, as well as my Patreon. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Keep a rich mentality. Peace.